Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm from dianapalm.com and I wanted to just send out a little reminder for you to make sure that you are doing things that are good for the soul, taking the time to meditate, getting out in nature, no matter what the weather is. I'm usually living in Minnesota where it's quite cold and full of snow this time of year, but getting away and having a little vacation, catching some rays and getting some sun is so vitally important to your healing, to your to your spirit, to your frame of mind, and it really helps you get through the dark days of winter. So I just wanted to share this lovely scenery with you today and remind you how very, very important it is um, to get by the water if you can, to get outside, get some sunshine if you can, to take a walk in nature and get your body moving um, no matter where you're living. There's places that you can go and things you can do that will enrich your soul, that will bring you closer to nature and help you de-stress from all the crazy stuff that we we get so used to and we get so busy doing in our, in our very active lives these days. Some other reasons why it feels so wonderful to go on vacation is because you're in a different climate, you're in a different location and the worries of everyday life seem to just slip away and that's really important. It's important to unplug and to leave your cell phone behind, leave your laptop behind and your clients know that you're going to get back to them and that your life will be there waiting for you when you return. But when you can get away from your everyday normal life, magical things can happen for you on every single level. If you're not able to get near the water, try at least to get near nature because nature itself is extremely healing and rebalancing for the human body. Trees are extremely healing. They literally absorb all of our negative emotions and help us to de-stress. If you absolutely cannot find a way to get to the water this time of year, at least get inside of a bathtub and soak your body. It's so important for us to submerge ourselves and get inside the water. It feels restorative. It is healing for our bodies. It rebalances and recalibrates us quite physically, but also emotionally and spiritually too. My favorite thing to do when I'm up north and when I'm not able to get to the beautiful water that's warm <laughs> is, uh, is simply just to take sea salt baths. Um, you can also use Epsom salts and a little bit of essential oil, but to really get in there and soak and really allow your body to heal from the restorative benefits of the water. And in case you didn't know, sitting by the water or soaking in the water is one of the best ways to communicate with your loved ones in spirit because water is a conductor of energy and our loved ones are energy once they pass. So when we're by the water and we're, we're relaxing and we're feeling distressed, this is a really pivotal time for our loved ones to send us loving messages. So many times where I've been sitting on the beach or sitting by a big body of water when I can feel my loved ones in spirit and receive messages from them. And yes, this can happen in the bathtub, so if you're locked away somewhere cold and you can't get away and get outside, at least do this in the bathtub if you want to communicate with your loved ones and feel at peace and feel reconnected. Okay everyone, well I hope uh, this inspired you to get outside wherever you are and that you always remember how powerful and how very, very healing it is in nature and by the water and in the sunshine and in the fresh air. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it and I'll see you next week.